What's up guys and welcome back to another video today and today we are playing Forza Horizon 4 uh, We played this game last week with the Hennessy Velociraptor 6x6 dope truck, but Wasn't the best at off-roading, but I still love the truck I've been driving it actually a lot because I just <laughs> who doesn't like a 6x6 duh two more wheels uh, Hell yeah so, uh, we have a new car today that I skipped fast because I went all the way to fucking McLaren, but that's okay. The new Porsche 911 Stinger. I can't wait. It will be awesome because if you don't know me, I love Porsches. I don't know what it is. I just, 911s are my favorite Porsche. Like most people, that's not like something special, of course. Everybody loves 911s, but man, there's something different because... I love this 911 right here that I'm poking at, like I'm, I'm on right now. The 2016 Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Purple. It's got white, like, outline on the wheels, and it's black rim out rims. It's a race car. It's awesome. That's, like, my dream spec if I ever got a 911. And it would be that kind of 911 because I love the 911. It's so good. I don't know why I turned into Trump right there, but it doesn't matter. All right, so the new 1990 Porsche 911 reimagined by Singer uh, is has eight. Oh my God! It's 1.8 million dollars, and it has eight speed. In 1990, guys, this car is gonna fucking it's gonna rule the world. Dude, I'm so happy. I'm so excited for this. Look at those stats. It's S1 class stock. It's a 1990 Porsche 911. God damn. Okay, hold up. See, this is my... Oh, I better get like a 1990s. Okay, so this is my... This is my 911 GT2 with a wide body on it. S2 class. This is thing is fully upgraded. This thing has no upgrades. It's stock by Singer. It's obviously... Uh, performance Porsche but it's a stock singer and it's S1 class that's crazy all right it's got 8 speed it's got 7.4 handling it's got 8.5 acceleration it's got 9.8 launch almost 10 launch stock 7.8 braking it's 1.8 million dollars S1 class rear -wheel drive this car awesome it's got almost 500 horsepower it's got 317 foot pounds of torque it's 2300 pounds super light i can't wait this car already looks so fun and so awesome look at that that's cool. I already like it. And we didn't even get like a good look because we're on the floor. We have to zoom out or whatever. Oh, I love the doors already. Look at that. It's got... Does that say Surge or Singer? I'm pretty sure that would say Singer because that's the company that did. Singer? The, that door looks awesome. Oh, the interior is so cool. Look at the um, speedometers. That's, this is cool. I really like this already. It's all carbon fiber in there and everything. Now let's look at the outside. Looks like a Porsche 911 with a little wide body right there because it's thick. It's much thicker than the stock one. There's its little engine. Porsches have tiny little engines, but man, they're fucking awesome engines. At the That's what they are. You could fit probably one bag in there. One. I'm calling it. Wait, what? You could change the gas with that? That's cool. Okay, look. You can change the gas right there. If you don't want to walk all the way over here and change the gas. Oh, that's oil. That. You change the gas right there. I love this already. Look how cool that is. You change the gas from the hood. Awesome. Awesome. We're going to take this thing on a spin. I want to see this thing stock because it looks amazing. Damn, okay. That's a pretty good engine sound, I'm not gonna lie. 
Got the little crackles and everything. Pops and crackles. Oh, sick. I love those headlights. They're the uh, Forza ones. The Forza gave those for like a little secret on Twitter. Oh, this is so cool. I love singer symbol. Like just that's a pretty nice symbol. A little cursive singer. Dude, this is awesome. This feels like an upgraded car. I mean, it is. I keep saying that it's an upgraded car. But and I know it is because you know, it's a performance 911, but this is like stock at singer standard. I mean, that's kind of cool. And we can upgrade it in the game, so it's technically a stock singer. I love this. I really do. This is awesome. All right. Well, that car came out of nowhere. We're going to we're going to go into a race. All right. And we're off in our little Porsche 911 Singer performance with the little gas cap on the front, on the front, on the hood. I love that detail already. I just I can't believe I didn't know what that that, that, that was a thing. That's so cool. Okay. So, a little fun facts about this. Uh, so if you don't know the price of the uh, very 1.8 million dollar car, well, it took. Oh my God, that was the BMW that just blasted my eardrums. I was like, what is that? So, um, but they're only making 75 of these things. That's why they're very rare and expensive. And the first one took over four. And I, oh God. Why can't I just be good at this game? It took over 4,000 hours to build this car that I'm driving right here. 4,000 hours? What? And an F1 team freaking built this car. Can you believe that? The team that built this car was Williams, the Formula One team. Pretty sick. This is like a Formula One car. Not really, but it was built by a... It was built by people that build Formula One cars, so pretty cool, right? Um, so yeah, but other than that, th that's pretty much it. It's super expensive and rare because, you know, there's only 75 of these in the world, and they're super hard to get. And an F1 team made them, so boom. And we're already finished with the race. That was quick. And we take the W with the stock Singer Porsche 911. Let's go. Oh, just listen to that engine just boom, 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 rumble. That's pretty cool. I will appreciate that. <laughs> but we're probably going to engine swap this car if it has any. So say goodbye to the uh, poor engine that we will miss because it's not a bad sounding engine. I do like it. So the first thing that we're going to do is paint or see what we can paint it. Oh, what? Only one color that is this color? What a surprise. I expected that. And no body advance. Oh, come on. Look at that. Now I now I have to get rid of the cool Porsche thing on the side. But I'm not the biggest fan of the white. I really... Should we get a pink one, guys? <laughs> I can imagine that. My $1.8 million car is pink, guys. That would be rough to you for anybody. Honestly, like, black... Just looks good to me. Maybe orange. Ooh. Orange looks nice. Yellow looks nice. Yellow looks nice. Blue. I'm not the biggest fan of blue on this. I don't think it looks nice. Red. Red's okay. Man, I can't choose. It's either black or white for me, and I think I'm going with black. Black looks really nice. Yeah, let's black her out. Oh, this will look actually... Oh, my God. That is... Oh, my... Holy shit. That is nice. That's cool looking. Everything's blacked out. I'm not changing those rims. Those are nice. That looks awesome. And engine swaps. We got one. And it's a 3.2 liter flat six twin turbo. Do I really want to do that? I don't know if I want to do that. I really, I mean, I guess you guys will never miss that engine because 
We're keeping it. That's... Look at that. I would take that. That, that like, that takes down so much of the speed. All-wheel drive. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want all-wheel drive. This thing kind of doesn't handle the best already. And if we put a bunch of horsepower in it, more than it already has, then... Yeah, we might need all-wheel drive. Oh, yeah. Twin turbos. Now we got 10-10 on acceleration and launch. Boom. That's all I wanted. Oh, we can make it a drift car? I don't know if I would want that, but... If anybody is going to do it, do it, because that kind of seems cool. <laughs> but I want mine to be a race car. It's such a... I love the blackout look, guys. Tell me you don't like that. Like, I mean, that is so good looking. Ooh, what if we get this to X-Class? I bet we can do it. Oh, it already has race tires. That's probably not going to get us to X-Class then. Oh, Actually, I'm not the biggest. Okay, so I'm not the biggest fan of tire stickers. I don't think I just never really liked them before. But that looks nice. I'm going to do that. That looks really nice actually. Thicken them up up front. Thicken them thick them up thick them up thick them up. Oh my gosh, thick them up up front. That's a tongue twister right there. Like I said, not changing the rims. I think they look beautiful. And wheel spacers. It's already probably has wheel spacers because of the wide body, but hey, that fitment's not bad. I will take that fitment. In the back. Exactly. It's not bad. It's It, it seriously isn't. But it always could be better, right? <laughs> Isn't that what we all want? More wheel spacers or more fitment. Okay, so handling probably won't be on my side, but speed will. It has 9.1 speed. I love this. And it has this tiny little lip that does so much apparently because it puts up puts it up so much, but like I said, handling's not on my side today, but speed is. It has 9.1 speed and 1010 acceleration and launch. Holy crap. Imagine putting 787 horsepower in a 2,400 pound car. Because that's what we just got. So it's S2 class and all-wheel drive. Very cheap for like a really good upgrade. But it's already really performance. So I guess it already has all the performance parts. So only about 50 grand. So let's take it out to the racetrack. Oh my god! Well, I told you speed would be on my side. Holy shit! 9.1 speed, 10 launch, 10 acceleration. We got this in the bag. Maybe not handling, we, got, we don't have that in the bag, but... Other than that, this car looks so good. I can't get over the black. It looks really nice on this car. I know, I'm not gonna stop talking about the black, but it's, it's really nice looking. And we're off in our little Porsche Stinger. Singer. I said Stinger. No, I promised myself I wasn't going to say that. I literally, I'm not joking, guys. I was like, oh, I'm going to probably call this thing a Stinger a few times. God damn it. <laughs> well, I guess I failed that promise to myself, even though you guys didn't know what the promise is until I told you. But, uh, and there's a checkpoint missed. God damn it. I told you handling wasn't going to be on my side. Oh my god. This. Okay. Maybe we should have added the lip. Just saying. Maybe. <laughs> hey, but this is what my speed is for. Oh, I missed. I missed totally. God. That was terrible. I was going to slam that. Is that a Renault? Boom, just right into the wall. Later, nerds. Oh, God. Looks like we're taking the dub unless I crash. Oh, my God. I think I just hit a chicken. Rip chickens, 2020. What else could go wrong in 2020? Oh, wait. 
I'm just not even going to say anything because I know something's going to go wrong. So you guys can make up. Literally, we could make up anything and something would go wrong in 2020. We could be like, um, I don't want to say anything bad because I know people will look back and be like, look what you did. Look what you did. So I'll just say like, somebody dropped their peanut butter sandwich in 2020. And I know that's probably happened in 2020, so. Which kind of happens in every, I'm just babbling right now. We take first place in the beautiful blacked out Porsche 911 Singer. Boom, I got it right that time. I didn't say Stinger. All right. Now, what do I think of this car? I think I am in love. <laughs> Obviously, I really like this car. And I that was a fail. Obviously, I like this car. It's a really good looking car because it's a Porsche 911. <laughs> and it's fast. It's performance. I mean, it, it's got a lot of potential to be good. I bet there's somebody that made a tune that's like game breaking probably. But for me, I really like my little race car that I could just have fun with once in a while because it is really fun. And you could make a really good race tune out of it. Like, you know, I probably should have put the lip on just to have a little bit better handling. Because it's more like a drag car than a race car, but... I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I really like my speed. And I think a lot of people do, so I guess it's not just me. I should just stop talking. <laughs> Go check out this car, guys. It's 50%, I know, it's a little tough. But hey, if you don't like it, it's going to be worth a lot of money. And... So far, what I've checked is it probably could be really good online. I'm not going to lie. It's lightweight. It's fast. It's kind of everything, you know? Everything you want in, like, a bone shaker cheating online car. Which I know this probably won't crush the game and everybody will want one. But, hey, who knows? It could happen in 2020, am I right? But only bad things happen in 2020, so... uh. I guess it won't be good online, <laughs> but no, I really do think it has some potential, and I think you should go and get it. It's really easy to get because, you know, it's 50%. I'm just joking, obviously. It's a little tough, and since we don't have, we don't have, like, a certain race, I don't remember what it's called, but, like, an online adventure or something. Like, no, we have online adventure. Uh, like, we have a race to test out one of the cars around to try and beat your high score or whatever we don't have that this month so that's gonna make it a little harder for 50 percent cars but whatever i got it i know that and if i can get it then you can get it because i'm terrible at video games so um uh, thanks for watching this video and um i'll see you in the next one subscribe for more forza and goodbye jam this thing is fast jam i just said jam and not damn damn it's fast Ooh, that's a good thumbnail